It's screwing right in now. Oh man, that, this is awesome. It's screwing right in. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today I'm wearing my Merry Christmas shirt. Link in the description if you guys want to buy one of these bad boys. I only sell them one time during the year, so if you want one, uh, now's the time to do it. And then I'm gonna be taking these down in like a month. Anyway, enough self promotion. We're gonna be trying some fun life hacks from the channel. Crafty Panda. You guys all know how much I love them. We're gonna be trying hacks from the video. Home repair hacks. And DIY. This is actually a video off of Facebook. I don't think they posted this one on YouTube yet, so we get a sneak peek. How fun is that? But before I start, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe because I'm gonna be uploading every single day until Christmas, basically. Merry Craftmas! Anyway, let's see what today's hacks are. Is your wrench way too big? Just add some coins to make it fit. Whoa! That's actually working perfectly. Simple, to the point, I like it. Let's do it. Okay, so first, I'm gonna need to make a hole in this wood so that I can screw this little bolt in. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna put it in the hole and hand tighten it. Oh no, I can't get it in any farther. I need a wrench. But the only wrench I have doesn't fit it. Oh man, what am I gonna do? We go ahead and grab our coin and just, uh, you know, just slide it right inside of it. Oh wow, this is actually working. Yep, it's screwing right in. It's screwing right in now. Oh man, that, this is awesome. It's screwing right in. It's kind of hard to do this though, because then you have to hold the coin in place. And that's a little annoying. I'm doing it. Yes, it's working. Wow. Well guys, if you're ever in a pinch and you just have too big of a wrench, I guess this would absolutely work. So I guess, I, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Tired of getting paint all over the side of your can? Oh, just add a rubber band, put it right in the middle, just like that. And then when you're done, just wipe it off right on the rubber band even though he still kind of got it all over the side of the paint ah, ah, ah. this one's lame I'm not even gonna do this one I don't think it deserves it I'm sorry here's how to make yourself a fancy screw organizer get yourself a mason jar take off the lid and just screw the lid right to a board there you go Wow just put a bunch of different mason jars in there put in all your screws so many screws and all you gotta do is screw your mason jars right there Wow! perfectly organized screws I love this one and I think it would make a great addition to the craft corner let's Try it. So I actually have a lot of screws laying around. Yeah, I kind of have a lot, and they're just kind of everywhere. So I think this could actually be pretty handy. Here are our mason jars. These look like a good size. Now I just gotta fill them all up. Pretty good. And what's funny is I didn't even count how many screws I needed. So, wow, I'm pretty impressed with myself. On to the next part. Okay, so a great place for me to put these would be underneath my little side table right here. I can already imagine just having them right here. Or maybe back a little bit. I think maybe back a little bit. Yeah, that would be good. Nice and out of the way. All I gotta do is look under my desk and uh, oh my gosh, I got screws. Oh, okay, so here are our lids. Here's our drill. And it's gotta screw them on. Yeah, I kinda like how that looks so far. Now all we gotta do is take these jars and uh, screw them up here. Oh, that is, that is solid. Okay, so it's all done. Now if I ever need screws, I just go underneath here. I just look and see which one I want, and I unscrew it. Awesome. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. It's a pretty handy way of uh, organizing things too, actually. Is your screw way too big for the hole? Oh no! Easy peasy, just get some wire and wrap it all around your screw. Make sure to get it right inside the grooves of it. And now you got yourself a perfect little screw plug. Hammer that bad boy right in there. Do I'm not really sure what uh, this one is good for. Like, I'm not sure what situation I would do this in, but I guess we're gonna try it for the sake of the craft. So here's our wood. It's time for me to drill the hole. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. This should work nicely, even though I only have one drill bit this size. And we just, uh, oh no, I, I messed up. So here's our copper wire. Now we have to try and uh, put it around this screw. I feel like this is gonna be more difficult than they let on. I might have gotten too thick of, uh, <laughs> of copper wire. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is definitely way too thick of copper wire. So instead, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a paper clip. It should do the same thing, right? Here we go. Yeah, uh, not bad. Let's see if this one paper clip will do it. Oh, I feel like I wanna add some more up here though. So just for good measure, I'm gonna add one more paper clip. Here we go. Yeah, that looks 
pretty good, actually. Let's test it out. Okay, let's do this. One, two, and... Yep, that's uh, that's definitely in there. I don't think I can get that out either. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So here's an easy way to take the cork off of a bottle. So you take a screw, you screw it right into that cork, get a cork, you pull up your fork, pop! There you go! Easy way to open that fresh bottle of wine. I don't drink personally, but I guess, uh, I guess we'll try this one. Alright guys, so here's our wine bottle, here's our screw, just go ahead and just screw it right in there. Then we go ahead and get our fork. Here we go. Let's see. Will this work? Oh, that already that already bent the fork. <gasps> oh, come on. I'm definitely fighting this a little bit. Ugh. Come on. Dang, that just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, so it just says push it up like that. I'm gonna try putting it in a little bit more. Okay, here we go. And, oh, the screw came out. Dang, and that completely messed up our fork. Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I'm gonna try maybe putting the screw in one more time and then pulling it out with some pliers. Dude, yeah, that, <laughs> that definitely doesn't work. Oh wait, is it because I didn't take this off? <gasps> oh shoot. I think this might have been uh, my fault, actually. I don't know how much this little aluminum foil was really holding it back, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Okay, I hope this doesn't pop out and hit me in the eye or something. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the pliers. Oh! I pulled out the screw again. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Start making a mess whenever you uh, drill a hole. All you gotta do is tape a paper to the wall like that, tape the two sides, and make sure that uh, it's right underneath where you're gonna drill the hole. And there you go. Now there's no more drywall all over the floor. Okay guys, so here's our wall. This is where I keep all my scissors. And I just really need to put a hole right here. So here's our tape. Here's our piece of paper. There we go. And we fold it up, tape it like this. Now the other side. Now we have a perfect little drywall collector. Break out our drill. Yeah, that definitely uh, collected a lot of drywall. Very minimal on my table. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Are your screws just not screwing in? Well, just get some soap and uh, screw that bad boy right in there. Get some soap all up on your screw. Perfect, it looks good. Nice. Then it should make it really easy for it to screw right in. Wow, what a concept. Okay, this one I actually don't understand. Are you like lubing up the screw? Like, what's even going on with this one? Anyway, I guess we're gonna try it. Oh man, these screws are super hard to use. I just can't seem to get it to stay. Oh wait, uh, I just got it to stay. Maybe that was a fluke. Um, I'll try it again, sorry. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this till I have problems. Nope. Yeah, I didn't have any problem screwing literally any of these in. Well, I guess we'll just uh, break out our soap anyway. So apparently all we gotta do is put it in the soap like this, screw it in. I think they pulled theirs out. Yeah, there we go, we got a little bit of soap on there. Now will this make it easier to screw in? Yeah, that, uh, that felt about the same. Actually, it went in a lot. Oh my gosh, wait, so it lubes the screw up so that it goes in easier? Okay, wait. So that one's having trouble. Get some soap all over the screw. Try it again. That screwed in really easily, actually. See, it's having a hard time doing it. But you go ahead and add the soap. I'm getting mixed results from this one. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. It's like a 50-50 shot. Uh, other than that, I, I don't know. So many tools everywhere. Just grab your wrenches, get yourself a little carabiner, and put all your wrenches right on there. Whoa, they all fit. That's amazing. Then when you're done, just hang up your wrenches. Boom, bam, you're a, a handy man. Or a handy woman. Okay guys, so this one, pretty complicated. I don't know if we could do it. So here are my wrenches. Here's my little carabiner. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, that's what I was told it was called. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these bad boys on. Oh, that one's not gonna fit. I think that's about the limit that this one can hold. But yeah, that definitely holds a lot of them. And they're all in one place. Well guys, I'm gonna have to 
have to say that this one works. The only downside to it is like if I need this wrench, I have to take all of them off. Or at least half of them, I have to take half of them off. So that's kind of like the major downside I can think of. But besides that, yeah, it, it pretty much works. Woo! Okay guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a little thumbs up, look something like this, fire right down there. If you guys wanna watch me try more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this limited edition Merry Craft Mystery, you can click right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. What's it gonna be? I don't know. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Alright, okay, bye. Ah!